In this lesson, we'll discuss how a mutation in the DNA can encode a different polypeptide after translation. The question reads, an mRNA has the sequence of codons shown underneath. If a point mutation in the DNA changes the mRNA codon of AGA to GGA, how is the amino acid sequence affected in the resulting protein? So what they're telling us is that for this codon, the first nucleotide has changed from A to G. So to understand what a point mutation does, let's go ahead and translate the original copy, the good copy. We have the first codon being CCC. So we already know how to read this chart. C, C, and then we look within this, it turns out to be proline. So proline is our first amino acid in this polypeptide. Then we have AGA. Remember, this is the good copy. A, G, and then we look for A as the last letter, and it's arginine. A-R-G-I-N-I-N-E. And finally, GCC. G, C, and we look in this block, it turns out to be alanine. A-L-A-N-I-N-E. And e. Now we've been told that this is mutated into G, so everything stays the same except for arginine. Let's see what GGA translates into. G, G, and A. That's glycine, a big change. Because glycine is nonpolar and hydrophobic, whereas arginine is basic and its R group is positively charged, so it's hydrophilic. Take a look at their structures and see how they differ. When you're going from a basic amino acid like arginine and replacing it with a nonpolar amino acid, that will change the overall shape of the protein, which leads us to our next question. How might the protein made from this mRNA be affected by this mutation? Because the point mutation replaces a polar basic amino acid with a nonpolar neutral amino acid, the tertiary structure will be altered. And it won't be altered slightly, but a lot. Because when you have a polar amino acid, it actually holds the protein differently than if it were one of the most basic ones being glycine. So expect the protein or the end product to be less effective or even non-functional in this case. And so there you have it, a quick discussion on mutations and how it affects the end product in transcription and translation.